and this is 80p. Yes, 80p, you heard me right. Obviously helps with fine lines and wrinkles, which your girl needs. <laughs> Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my 10 affordable skincare products that you need in your skincare collection. So if you are already a subscriber then you will remember I've already done a makeup version of this. So I've already shared my top 10 affordable makeup products so if you've not seen that video I'll link it down below for you to check that out. But today I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 skincare products that I have in my personal collection. Skincare can get quite costly and literally can run into hundreds but can also go all the way down to a pound even less there is a product in here that is less than a pound so if you want to find out what those products are then please keep on watching so the first thing that I'm going to mention are these makeup remover pads so I guess this isn't a product as such I mean this is a product but it's not an actual cream or anything like that but these are really integral for my skincare routine so I really wanted to include one of these. These are the ones that I got from Primark but I also do have them from Amazon as well and I would say that they're probably about equal in terms of how well they actually are for removing makeup. So I use this to remove my makeup. I also use them when I'm using a face wash as well so I find these really really handy. They've meant that I don't need to use face wipes anymore and I've noticed that my skin has been a lot better for it. So I did get this in a pack of two from Primark Primark, and I'm pretty sure it was two for £2.50. I could be wrong. I'll see if I can correct myself on screen if I can find them. But the ones from Amazon, I think you get a pack of four for something like five or six pounds, which I think is really good. But if you do want to pick one up while you're out shopping, then you can get them from Primark as well. So I just use a cleanser and then I use this to rub the cleanser in and then rinse my face and then I go on and wash it. So these have been really, really handy. Whilst we are on the topic of makeup removal, I also use this Garnier Micellar Water and I use this if I've got some stubborn eye makeup that doesn't want to come off. Sometimes I find that the cleansers just need a little bit of extra help in getting any really pigmented shadows, especially if they're like pink or purple. They can be really difficult to get off. So I use this if I need to tackle any stubborn eye makeup and I love this. I've used a lot of micellar waters over the years, I find that some of them can be really greasy. I think the Nivea one is really oily and I already have sort of combination skin anyway so I don't need to be adding any more oils to my skin. So this little bottle I think was £2.95ish but you can obviously get bigger ones that are a bit better value depending on how much you want to spend on it. I would recommend if you're going to be using it a lot to get a bigger version. I think I picked this one up only because it was the only one that was actually there when I went shopping. And again staying in with sort of the makeup removal and cleansing part of the skincare routine. This is the Primark Balm to Oil Cleanser. I do have a full video reviewing this and comparing it to the Elemis Rose Cleansing Balm. This is £3.50 and it is amazing. So you can get this from Primark and I would definitely recommend going and picking some of this up. Just a little tip, if you are going to pick it up from Primark, this wasn't in the skincare section with all the beauty stuff. It was in their wellness section. So if you do have a wellness section in your Primark, then it comes in a little brown box and this is what the packaging looks like. This is amazing at £3.50 you cannot complain. Gets all your makeup off really, really well and you only need a really small amount. If you do want to know a little bit more about this product in depth, then I will link the video down below where I reviewed it, but I would 100% recommend this. Then the next product is the Lacora Glycolic Toner from Aldi. So obviously we all know what these are dupes of, you know, it's pretty obvious what products this is sort of a dupe of um, and I think this is really good. At first when I started using this I wasn't sure of it just because it was sort of making my skin like tingle and feel a little bit funny but I spoke to my friend who also uses this as well and she said she has the same effect but she just uses this twice a week, she doesn't use it daily so that is what I started doing and I noticed that my skin handled it a lot better. So this is 3 99 the problem is with Aldi is it you can obviously recommend the products and they're usually in like the special buys bit and they don't always have them. I've been in a few times in Aldi looking for something recently and they've not had them. So it is a bit of a difficult one to recommend to you. So I do apologise if you're not able to find it but you can keep on the lookout whilst doing your weekly food shop for this one. Next product is a body moisturiser. So this is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Body Lotion. So this isn't their standard 
actual body butter. This is a coconut oil version, so it's just important to point that out because it is a little bit different to the original Palmer's lotion. Um, but this is really good. It smells amazing. It's really, really moisturising. It's quite thick, but it soaks in really well. So I definitely recommend this. I literally got this from like Tesco. I think this was about two pounds something when I got it, but I think it was an offer. I think it retails for around four to five pound. But obviously, if you keep on the lookout again whilst you're doing your weekly food shop, then you might be able to pick this up for a bit of a cheaper price like I did and I would definitely recommend this I use this when I get out of the shower and just feel super moisturized super clean smell amazing and super fresh staying in with the moisturizer is my next one so some people might think that this isn't classed as like an affordable one but for me personally I feel like it is I think that you can spend a lot of money on moisturizers and for the amount of products that you get for this price I think that it's worth it especially considering you only have to use a really small amount as well so this is the CeraVe moisturizing cream CeraVe products are incredible like these are amazing I love them so much I've had a few CeraVe products now and nothing has disappointed me and I mean nothing like literally this particular bottle I paid I think it was nine or eleven pound for you can get smaller versions of this online and I think they're about six pounds so if you're wanting to try it first before you actually commit to buying the bigger one then go ahead and do that but this has been amazing for my skin I use this morning and night and I love it so much this has been working amazing for my skin I'm so glad I got this if you are only wanting to spend like a couple of pound on a moisturizer then I'd recommend the Nivea soft I use that on clients so I find it a lot easier to recommend if you are looking for something really inexpensive because you can literally get tubes of that for like a pound but this one I would say is really really effective really hydrating really moisturizing and yeah give this a go you won't regret it and then another CeraVe product that I use on a daily basis is the CeraVe eye repair cream so again if you feel like you want to spend less than £10 you only want to spend a couple of pounds on an eye cream there are a lot of eye creams out there that you are able to try this retails at £11 but you can get offers on CeraVe like three for two or I'm able to find something in boots or reduced online when you are shopping this just have a look around but I don't think £11 for an eye cream it's particularly expensive especially considering it's a really good one my under eye feels hydrated I've stopped getting those like little spots that you get on your under eye um, and this also has hyaluronic acid which obviously helps with fine lines and wrinkles which your girl needs so this one for me is an absolute winner you'll need a really small amount I've had this about maybe two to three months now and it's definitely not anywhere near run out you only need a really small amount and yeah I definitely recommend that the next two products are face masks obviously this wouldn't be in your daily routine I mean it might do personally I don't do face masks every single day um, but I wanted to recommend two really affordable masks that you can try I have another Primark product and this is their prep and perfect illuminating priming sheet mask and this is 80p yes 80p you heard me right 80 pence how amazing is that I really really love these masks I find them so brightening so hydrating obviously really inexpensive because they cost under a pound some of them that they do in their other ranges go up to one pound fifty which of course is still not breaking the bank really in the grand scheme of things but yeah definitely recommend these and most people have Primax near them which is why I wanted to include this one I do also enjoy the Holica Holica skincare mask you can get them on offer usually starting from about one pound ninety it's not much more expensive than the but I just wanted to get in as affordable products but also really good products as possible the next one is an under eye mask and that is the simple brightening under eye hydrogel mask so again simple products are pretty inexpensive I think this was about two pound these are really really good they just literally sit on your under eye these are really really easy to use they sell these in supermarkets they sell them in like boots and super drug but you can also get them online as well so yeah definitely recommend these eye masks can go really really expensive when you're talking about sort of higher end ones like you can pay a fortune for them and the one use so I want inexpensive yet effective face masks for my face because it's going in the bin literally going in the bin afterwards can't use it more than once so I want to save my pennies on that and then the final product is the Garnier skin active rose soothing glow mist I've seen this in plenty of makeup tutorials and skincare videos that I've done on my channel if you've watched any of those before I use these all the time not just for myself but also in my makeup artist kit I also have the green one as well which the both 
both really hydrating and they both work really well. So I can use this with my skincare routine to hydrate, but I also use it after I've applied all my makeup. It isn't necessarily a setting spray, but I do find that it helps sort of melt all of the makeup together and everything just looks a lot smoother and a lot nicer, a little less powdery. And these are $5.99. So that is all of the affordable skincare products that I wanted to recommend. I hope that you have found something that you want to try from these. If you do try them, then let me know because I always find it really interesting whether people actually sort of go out and buy it and use it and it becomes part of their routines. I do get messages sometimes saying, oh, I went out and tried this thing and I really love it, I really like it. I love getting messages like that. It really means a lot that you sort of trust what I say. And you will know from watching my videos that these are products that I use a lot. You will have seen them whether it's in a skincare routine or a makeup tutorial. You will see these on my channel a lot. So I do really believe in them. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you here again very, very soon. Thank you.